This video is part of our Object Debugger tutorials. If you haven't seen our other videos in this series, they are linked in the description below. One video in particular that would be good to look at before looking at this video is the one where I explain a little bit more about the expression field. In this video, we will look a little bit more on the comments that we have received uh, and some other input that will come. A special thanks to Kishore Sahu, who has given us some topics to also show you here. First off, what I want to show you is the one where you can get all access to all the script blocks in the script area of an object. So if we delete the what's written in the script area and the, then navigate to the base object of this pump, we can take this pump and drag and drop it in the script area and we will get all the different scripts that are on this object. They are the same that is written in all these script blocks. But the difference here is that we can see all of these at the same time instead of open them up one and one and check on them. This is only possible on the base object side. If you go to the engineering side and try to drag and drop, it's not possible. You can do it also without anything easy. When I drop it, nothing happens. The second thing I want to show you is if we take this object and drop it in one of the object fields, and then we write c.info text, we will get a summary of the most important properties of this object. So for example, here we can see what kind of type it is, it's system UID, the name, the full name, and so on. It's super convenient when you try to figure out which property to use in your scripts and so on. One last thing that I want to show you or, or just discuss is when the object debugger sometimes just fails or doesn't return any results anymore. This can happen if you're scripting and trying out a lot and running the execute button over and over and over again, uh, or maybe go by the expression field and calculate. Then after a while, they won't, it won't print any results. It can also happen if you jump between the tabs back and forth and try to reload. Uh, the thing that to restore this function or go back to how it was, it's pretty easy, but there are some things that we have to have in mind. So first off, all the objects in the object field will be removed. But if we have something in our script area, so for example, we drag and drop this again, if we have something here and the result window won't work, we just close the object debugger and then reopen it. Everything that's written in the script area will remain, but all our objects and what we have written in the expression field will be removed. So if we have some super cool script here or something that we want to uh, have, so say for example, we just take a project that works at uh, dot, uh, whatever, uh, let's take additional project. If we want to save this before we close and reopen, yes, copy and paste it down here uh, and then close, reopen. The expression field is still empty, but we can just take this and cut and paste again and run the script again and everything will work as before. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Philip Abrahamsson and I'm an IT consultant at Plant Vision. We at Plant Vision, we work with industrial IT systems and we are also partnered with Siemens. If you have any questions, just ask us. Feel free to just reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below.